Hmm. Ah. Diddy. Hello and welcome to this unboxing and review of the Blood Angel Sanguinary Guard. In this video I'm going to unbox the models and then in the second half of the video you're going to see them constructed. They won't be painted um, because otherwise you'll be waiting <laughs> weeks and weeks be um, in between videos. So for speed purposes uh, I'll unbox them, assemble them and uh, show you what they look like assembled. So they're not really new, they've just been packaged as new. I've never had these models, I think they're pretty awesome anyway. Um, I like the gold, it gives you a bit of practice uh, perfecting your gold and perfecting your white in a way. Uh, so I, I really like them, I always have had a, a soft spot for them. This is what the back looks like, you've got these. See the different types of gold, you've got really light kind of gold and then you've got a, a darker gold. Um, so you get the five sanguinary guard. Let's open them up, let's see what we've got. No problem for the old knife there. Let's see what bases and things they've got in here. So it looks like they've got the larger bases, that's no normal sized uh, troop base. That seems to me like that's a larger 30 mil base. I really like these base bases. Um, gives your models more of a, a centerpiece. Uh, how many sprues does it come on, Super? Well, oh, that's interesting. So you get your instruction manual. They don't seem too difficult to create, but I will give you the, you know, out of five star difficulty. So you get your five bases, and you'll be seeing a lot of those 30 mil bases. I promise you that. These are the sprues you actually get. Um, so you get three pairs of wings there. You get some nice body armour with the nipples, the man nipples. You can actually buy a man nipple off Forge World. Don't believe me? Type it in. Um, I think it, a man nipple is uh, one Reaver Titan and two Warhounds, if you ever wanted to quote that. Uh, you got some weapons, you got some of these nice death masks of Sanguinius and uh, you got some hop skip and jumpy legs as well so that's one sprue and this is the other sprue so this is a 20 pound set and um, two sprues and five 30 mil bases so at the moment this is what you're paying 20 pounds for well, it's probably about 30 dollars 30 or 35 dollars so that's what you're paying for at, at present um, I can't wait for 3D printing. So, uh, you've got some armour plates, you've got the beautiful, beautiful flag, and you've got three more jumpy legs, and you've got some more heads and torsos, and uh, a nice power fist there, and uh, some really fancy shoulder pauldrons, and you've got uh, other bits and bobs there to help you make up the unit of five. So, that's part one of the video. Join me in part two where you'll see all five completed. And welcome to part two. Here they all are, all assembled. The Blood Angel Sanguinary Guard, or as I like to refer them to as choppy, stabby, smashy, slicey, and crushy. They've all got little pet nicknames. Um, either way, this is what you get when you basically mix a uh, Space Marine uh, assault trooper with a can of Red Bull and um, it gives them all wings I mean I'm probably getting a lot of trouble for saying that because well <laughs> Red Bull got sued over it didn't they but either way they look a lot like assault troops but with wings uh, I think they are incredible models I don't know what I've been playing at it's taken me so long to even get round to be buying these creating these painting these well it's gonna take me a long time to paint them obviously but um, you get what I mean they are incredibly fantastic uh, miniatures um, they've got an awful lot of detail on and now they come with these extra bigger bases and a, a snazzy new box um, they're not new uh, uh, in that in another sense of the word there's a snazzy new box um, I think they're the same price but they've just been repackaged and whatnot uh, the rules are pretty decent as well think of just like a normal uh, assault marines but they've all got these kind of like power weapons they're called encarmine weapons or encarmine axe or encarmine sword 
I'm pretty sure he was in Gears of War, but anyway. Uh, also, that's an Inferno pistol. And then these little, uh, oh, not that one. These little bolt guns that are kind of, you know, gauntlet mounted are called Angelus bolt guns. They're a bit closer range, um, but their armor piercing is, is better and their assault too. So they're, they're, they're quite a good alternative to, to, an, to a bolt gun, really. Anyway, I'm gonna go through all the models one by one. Um, I think they can't, they don't really have sergeants in a way. Yeah, so they don't really have sergeants, so they're just sanguinary guard. And then you can have up to 10, I think. Start off with five, I think they're 165 points. Um, but either way, they can then be upgraded to have encarmine swords and encarmine axes. And uh, they all can have different pistols and all the rest of that jazz. So that's an Inferno pistol. He's kind of like the main, you know, sergeant out of the squad but I don't know whether you'd really classify them as a sergeant because uh, well as I just mentioned they don't really have them they're all top of their game anyway um, I really like the armor if you can get past the man nipples for this for for um for two of them he's got them too if you can get past that they're excellent models I like the the wings as well I think they're, they're great um canvas of which you can paint them any colour really. I'm going to try my very best at my white and perfect my white on, on them. And I've gone for all the death masks uh, for the helmets. There's just something really, really scary about them. Um, probably a Doctor Who thing, but either way, um, they're just like lifeless and just a oh, bit, uh, bit terrifying really. A bit like statues. Um, the jump packs are slightly different your mark four five seven <laughs> i don't know but there you that's your standard jump pack and this one has got a, a main thruster two little uh two little thrusters as well um i'm sure it works just as just as excellently maybe even faster that'd be cool if uh you know these wings and the the jump pack actually you know were into the rules somehow but alas it's not i like all of the the parts of these models the poses the shoulder pads or the pauldrons the weapons, the guns, the pointed hands. I really should have found a pointed finger for this main guy, but uh, if you've got a pointed finger from another um, box set, it doesn't really work because the inside under the gun is kind of curved. It wouldn't take that much modding to, to do that. Anyway, this is the next uh, chap. Probably just landed, or maybe he's just counter-attacking. He's got a plasma pistol. You can change them all out to have Inferno pistols and plasma pistols if you wish. I've gone for a nice mix. Um, all of the Incarmine swords and axes are apparently um, double-handed. So you need to just bear that in mind. But I've gone for Inferno pistol, uh, three Angelus bolt guns and a plasma pistol. I think that gives me a, an alright uh, you know, spread. And also I'm going to change the death company in the big death storm box set i'm gonna have all those at sanguinary guard as well because i've got enough you know assault marines and things like that so it's going to be a 10 man squad in the end uh, and don't worry about heads i've got plenty of heads i'll show you the heads i've got i've got enough to you know make make the other squad the only different different you know difference or difficult part would probably be the wings in that you know the new squad won't have any so i don't know whether I should continue on that route or not, but either way, I'm going off on a tangent. Third chap, he's about to swing that. They're really excellent poses. Be nice to paint them all gold as well. And this chap. Nice horizontal slice there, about to happen. And then this. It's probably the worst pose out of all of them. He's kind of just leaping forward with the flag, the banner, and he's got a power fist. Why didn't you put a sword on? Well, I'm going to use a sword for another model. But uh, there you go. The wings are a little bit wobbly still. I wouldn't just finish them, really. So that is the whole squad um completely messed up their position there so i think it's a good squad and i definitely think they're well worth the i think they're 20 pounds 50 pence so that's not too bad really for five elite 
you know, Space Marines, I don't think that's too bad of a price to ask. And you don't get that many extras though, um, I must tell you, uh, of which I'm going to show you right now. So these are all the extra pieces you get. And I wasn't wrong about the heads. As you can see, you get five normal Space Marine heads, which you can quite easily use one of them as a captain or, you know, put on your Sanguinary Priest. Uh, probably would have chosen that one he'd, he'd look pretty cool on the sanguinary priest you've got three angelus bolt guns which you might use for something else and then you've got three normal uh you know helmetless heads you've got the sword still remaining one and carmine sword two little short swords and uh, a few shoulder pads three closed fists i've got left and a few accessories so yeah you don't it's very sparse on on the spare parts but you do get an extra sword if you don't use the if you um use the power fist and you do get five normal space marine heads and a few shoulder pauldrons so you can find a use for all them i'm sure and that concludes my review uh do i think they were they're worth it um yeah i really do i think 20 pound is is a reasonable price to pay for these five excellent looking models and they definitely um provide you with a uh a base for your army uh, definitely uh they definitely will draw an opponent's attention to them especially if you paint them bright colors and things yeah I, i'm really impressed with these models and i think that'd go very well with the rest of my army one little kind of insight tidbit i suppose is fear not although this is wednesday in january now we are we're at my big space marine update video is you know is going to be out soon probably be out next weekend and that's a big probably what I'm trying to do is assemble all of the models I've got and I've got a couple of more boxes to do so but I'd rather get them built and on the table than in a box so I'd rather forfeit them not being painted at all and just have them there on display uh, than than just have them in the box and then go ahead and try painting lots of other things so I hope you do enjoy this the, the upcoming video um, because it will have taken me a long time like the previous one and that's kind of like the little sneak peek in this video. So thanks ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.